Hello everybody, welcome to Nightghost 49, welcome to Banished, the Mega Mod. We're on a large map, and as you can see in the top left corner, Nomadia Reboot. Here's the issue. The last crash, I tested it again, and again. It, it dies. The game can't handle it, I don't know why. It's right when the outbreak jumps back down to about 80 people that are infected every time. It crashes. So that save file is no more. And I've been pretty frustrated about it, so I took a few days off and thought about it. I'm not going to put down the Nomad Well as much as I love the madness that is the Nomad Well. What I'm probably going to do is put down the mission. Um, where was the mission? <sighs> Dang it. Um, mission Church, right? right? Oh, wait, here we go. No nomads, this one. I'll probably put down this church. It has a decent size of uh, nomads that come in. So we'll probably do that. I decided to start by just placing a bunch of things here, getting things started. We're on an easy start. We did, I did a whole new seed. This is the verdant plains kind of stuff. Uh, we've got a good size map. And I, as you can see, I've already tiled a million things on here and killed all the real estate. We've got a lake here. We have a lake here that's not connected to the trade route. And then we have a lake here that is not connected to the trade route. So I'm pretty stoked about that. Um, we've got some mountains here. These, specifically right here and like here, are actually big enough to put mine. So I'm not going to flatten them, but I might flatten these because I'm having issues getting these to, to fit. Or I'm a liar. I'm a lion sack of garbage. Yeah, I'm just having issues on the other side then. Um, so we might be able to get one out of there. I was hoping to not use that. Anyway, so here's all of our people. Sorry for all the zooming in and out. I'll, I'll be. Let me get to a good spot and we'll, we'll do this like we should. I'll even turn it just slightly. Got a stockpile here. Apparently we have bison, which is awesome. I'm going to go ahead and unpause things. Oh, <laughs> Why are you so cold? Stop that. Um, I've got tiny choppers over here that are ready to go. I have two workshops that are set up and ready to start working on. I have uh, two crop fields. I've paused one. I have the pasture, which I have a pause as well, because I've set up our standard area over here with the Forester Lodge, our hunter, and the gatherer's hut as well. Oh, and before I forget, I actually should. Um, is it in here? No, 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 no. Let's get an herbalist right now. Let's just not mess around, shall we? So basically, this is like my last hurrah at doing this particular challenge. Because the challenge is to fill the map. And with that, we have a lot of people. <laughs> so many people. I don't know if the game can handle it. So we might be able to act. We might have to do something a little different if this ends up failing around that same mark. So I'm going to pause. We're going to get the crop field. I'm going to say beans. Beans and sunflowers. These are garbage. Oh my goodness. We'll put one person on that and see if it can actually grow anything. Our workshops are getting built. The hunter, the gatherer, the forester lodge is good. I've got a stockpile over here. I would like to go ahead and put in a little, little barn right there. And then we will also get a road. I ended the road there. I am doing double roads. Even took a little extra time to do that, so there we go. And for our, here, you know what? Let me just let me just get rid of these for now, because I can't click on it. And know what the heck's going on? I'll get two people here. Reserve of food is low, right? Um, let's get two people here at the hunters, and two people at the gatherers as well. So our laborers are down to three. We got two builders. Our stockpile is done. Let's get rid of that. Crop fields here. We're growing a little bit, which I'm kind of surprised about. I'll go ahead and unpause this crop field just so we can get it built. And I'll unpause the pasture as well. That's going to actually hold on. That's going to take quite a bit of material. Uh, both of the choppers are paused. Let's unpause one of those. Okay. So the herbalist is done. I'm actually just going to let that sit over here for a bit and not worry about it. Okay. Now, with our other guys, I will mark a lot of this stuff to get picked up. So we'll let them pick up all that crud. And uh, do its thing. This crop field, whatever, it can get hard. It can get pulled because they're gonna grab a bunch of resources. We've got our two workshops here. 
And one of them will do iron tools, and the other will do hide coats. So we'll get them ready. We're not going to employ them yet, because we've got 35 tools, 34 tools, excuse me. But we don't have a lot of the other stuff kind of up and going. What I will do is get this tiny chopper at the limit of 200. Let's go ahead and employ somebody there and make sure we're chopping a bunch of wood and uh, taking care of that. Because I want to make sure we're on, we're on top of that one. Honestly, the temperature is looking good here for the uh, the crop field, so I'm kind of excited about that. It's going to take 56 logs, and as you can see, I picked a spot that doesn't have a lot of clearing going on. So we're not going to get back a lot of logs in, during the construction. So I do need to go ahead and queue up some of these uh, some of this tree removal from our labor force. So I'll be going and doing that as well. Um, you know what? I, I take it back. We talked about this previously. That I need to get better about dealing with herbs and and just having them on hand and and not kind of messing over our people. So I'm going to get herbs. Now we're starting to bring in a bit of food, right? We've got the hunter has already gotten a bit of, a little bit of duck meat, and uh, I don't know what that voice was. A bit of duck meat. Um, <laughs> the gatherer is doing quite well. Man, I love gatherers. All right, we're going to get this guy up and going here in a moment. So I will unpause this. The crop field is done. I will leave this off to the side for now. How much did we harvest? 900 already. So I'm pretty stoked about that. Now, a lot of people have already gotten a ton of food because I don't have a market. They're just kind of doing their thing. So uh, anyway, I, I hope everybody's excited about this. I'm excited about this. I'm excited to start again. Uh, I'm a little bummed because I honestly was... It's been the most fun doing that map than I've had in a very long time. Just going to be real with everybody. It's pretty, pretty freaking awesome. The way we set that up, the way we manage the nomads and everything. I, I was listening to everybody's suggestions and really just, um, honestly, I felt good about the way that was done and, and rolled out. I was kind of kind of uh, sad to leave that, honestly. All right, Bison, come over here. We'll get one person doing that. Now we're down low in our labor force, which kind of stinks, but that's okay. I did put down two bee, bee shelters and I paused the one. I need to get, I need to make sure we get our raw resources in as quickly as we can, which are the mines. Now, I might take a different approach this time. I think I'm going to do, I think this is going to be our little wild lands over here. I, I took a strip of land last time and I made it, uh, I made half of it farmland. And then I made the other half the llamas. So remember that? All the llamas and everything that we had? I'm not going to do it this one, that, this way this time. I'm going to do the specialized foresters over here. This is super isolated. Um, I think we can do a lot of fun here. Maybe we'll put some some mines or something in here. What speed do I have this on? 10? We're doing good. I don't have any way to look at stats, though. So let's get a town arrival um, over here. It's, it's cheap. We can we can build it real quickly. We can just kind of get a good, a good amount of stats. Now, let's take a look here at bridges. And let's get over here. And the, there's a reason. No, not a stone split bridge. Although we should mess with that this time. The drawbridge is generally what I'm looking for. So 65 logs will do that and just in case nobody has anything to actually do i will mark a few more a few more little plops of trees to take care of those <clears throat> anything close by here that we can get that is wood and stone i want to go ahead and have that removed as well i know i've got it on speed 10 so they're just rocking and rolling right now i might as well let them kind of get some more stuff done so how's our storage looking storage is looking fine um, food is actually looking okay once it's not i'll, I'll turn this bee charmer on plus i do have sunflowers now going this is a really fun start. We're already into year two. Holy crap. But what I want to do here is I want to get hardwood so I can get lumber immediately. I don't normally do that. I started doing that the last time. And um, I, I kind of liked it, to be honest with you. It was it was very interesting way to handle that. So hardwood forester is probably going to be just right here in the middle. And I'm probably going to do roads around this. That is my thought. I want to get all the roads um, around it, contain it. And then I, I'll put up the other foresters as well. We're going to bring in a little bit of wood over here with this guy. So not super stressed about this right now. Logs aren't a big concern at the moment. Anyway, so. Oh, and I don't know what kind of orchard crop I have now that I think about it. Hmm. Let's not think about that for a minute. Um, I'm trying to think housing and resources right now. And right now don't have hold on let me think I need iron 
These are. This is all going to be for wood. So I need the iron stuff like over here, maybe. Ooh, I don't know. And I don't really want to get a mine. I think I want to start with. Yeah, hold on, hold on, hold on. I got to think about this. I think I'm going to do stone shack, iron shack, not an iron ore shack, which I did that one time. Let's not speak about that. Um. I might get rid of this and start building down this way and make this a lot of resources. We'll do some agriculture maybe going this way. You know what? Let's let's do that. Let's clear. Let's clear all resources here. This is going to be kind of a big project for the the amount of people I currently have, but I want to kill this little blip of crap right here and and set up an iron deposit over in this area. Okay, we're not going to track the bison whatever. They're just they're just grazing and moseying on about, so we're not too worried about that. I do have a few herbs, which I don't normally have. I don't normally start with that. But you're doing great, so keep at it. And they're planting a lot of trees. And I did remove a big chunk of stuff that was right here, which is why we see all the little baby trees. But I didn't do anything here. I didn't flatten this out. We're going to let that be whatever it's going to be. The hunter is doing very well. It's bringing in a little bit of leather, so we can make some coats here in a bit. And the catherer is just bringing in a ridiculous amount of food. So... We're doing well. Um, I think for the coats, I'm going to go ahead and mark that not to be worked. But I will mark the iron tools to be constructed. I want them to hit 50 right away. Let's just do it right now and, and make sure we're good to go. Sunflowers getting harvested by the one person. I think the one person with everybody living really close is not that big of a deal. Okay, so this is being cleared. And we're going to just get rid of this, this um, big hill. It's not really even a mountain. I can't use it that much. Let's take a look real quick at the overview. We currently have 28 citizens, 15 families, only six homes. So we need to build some homes. Um, we're overproducing on food, but not by that much. But we're about to bring in the sunflowers and see if that does anything to our uh, current numbers. We're not making any tools. We're doing fine on fuel currently. We have actually hit our max right now, which you know what? I think I'm going to go ahead and up that to 400 just to be safe. And then we're not making any iron. We're doing great on stone. We're just natively collecting that we don't we don't have any special deposits or anything for that and then um the logs right here we're doing we're doing really well you know i made a comment that i wasn't gonna do okay hold on before before i jump into that here's the there's the road we don't want to mess with the shoreline so we'll do that let me concentrate on take care of this real quick and then we'll we'll chat about some plans I liked going, I liked doing stone, or stone, gosh dang it. I liked getting the uh, the fuel situation kind of under control by using coal. It was it was an interesting way to do it. Um, it. It felt a little better to me, and I could kind of ramp it up based off of intake of nomads a lot easier, in my opinion. So I'm probably going to go ahead and do that again this time. Which is why I want to get to the hardwood as quickly as I can. Oh, and if this thing is actually done, which it's not, because it needs lumber. Oh my gosh. Derp. Hold on. All right. Is everything going to need lumber? No. Okay. So, a um, couple things. We're going to do iron here. And then we're going to do stone. Oh, no. Let's make sure we're watching this. And then we're going to do stone. On the shoreline? No, we don't want to do it directly on shoreline. Let's do it like here. Okay. But what I was about to say is I still want a couple of mines. We need them. As much as I don't want to have them, we most definitely need them. So let's go ahead and get our stone and salt mine. And we'll put it over here uh, in this in this area. So stone and salt. And then we'll also do the coal and iron. And I don't want to get iron. I want to get coal. So we'll let those build up and, and do their thing. Oh, I've only got two builders. That's so weird. Um, oh, the iron shack is already done. I will put the limit of, of uh, iron to 2,000. I'll put one person here so they can, quote, I'm doing air quotes, find, start finding iron deposits and letting them develop as I'm doing really overly stupid air quotes. Um, right, let's get rid of these trees. We do need trees. There we go. And same thing here with the stone shack. Let's go ahead and get that up there, and I will put that limit at 2,000 as well so it won't freak out. Okay, so we're going to... Wait, well, you know what? Let's take care of the road situation right now. Food's still doing fine. Actually, we need homes. 
I'm, I'm being a little silly. We need homes. Um, and we're going to have a stone mine here in a moment. So you know what? Let's, let's do the stone homes immediately. Let's not skimp on this one. And um, 40, 80, 120. All right, we'll be fine. Let's just let them build their thing. I don't know about the, the fuel situation, but we'll be fine. Tools are looking good. We're producing a bunch of those. We don't have a lot of iron left. We can convert these guys over if we need to. Um, currently, I want you to be stone. Very good. We'll put that at two. And why are you doing that? And I want you to be coal, not iron ore. Oh, you're split with these. Got it, got it, got it, got it. Um, all right, let's do this. Let's put it down to one each. Then I can put two more people, and all of these will be kind of ready to go. So, all right. All this food. Let's just get rid of that. I don't know why there's food here. Look, look at all the little deposits. They're finding them. Completely natural. Okay, so what I'm going to do now... So let's get some some roadage, some roadage, and I'm gonna have to double this. So I'm gonna be slightly liberal with kind of my placement and, and things like that. So I, it, basically, I don't want to be too safe. I guess honestly, you know what? Let's just not let's not play around with all of this silliness. Let's just square it off. Well, like, apparently we're playing with some of the silliness over here. It's not gonna be able to do anything there anyway, so we'll, we'll be fine. Let's go like this and bring it out. And then we'll come over here. And we'll double up this. There we go. Maybe we can do a trader over here or something else. So we'll do these in front of people's homes. We'll come down this way. Like this. Yeah. Okay. So all those are getting built. Crops, how you doing? Again, well, we got 760 in the previous season, so apparently I wasn't doing quite as well. How did the kernels do? They went, they were fine. It seems like we had a bit of a harsh, quick winter that uh, that came in a little too fast for us. I there are so many resources. Oh wait, no, wait, wait, no, no, no. How do I cancel? Don't pick these up. These need to develop. Gosh, I need to be careful. And then trees, though. Trees I can get rid of. We're not doing anything with those. Alright, cool. And Same over here. Get the heck out of here. What are you doing? Alright, so these are working. Uh, this is not going to start working yet, right? The um, hardwood, we don't need to worry about that. Let's go ahead and close those out since we're not messing with them. And they're not producing anything yet, so whatever. Oh, wait, no. I, I completely take that back. I forgot to actually finalize this thing. Okay. Oh, why is it going? Oh, I, I marked something to get picked up, so of course it's do nothing. Let's let it finish. Alright, so you're maxed out on materials, which is adorable. That's not happening. How are you doing over here? Storage okay? Storage okay? Yeah, we're fine. Tools are not looking good. We're actually completely out of iron already. <laughs> and we've got 37. That's that's just, just freaking great. So, instead, we're going to go full production on this iron shack, and let's just see if we can do it. I honestly have no clue if we can. So what I'll do is I'll put this workshop on, and I'll turn off that workshop. And they'll come over here and start making coats. That blacksmith's going to know a lot of stuff. All right. So I could just clear out the corners of these as needed. This is a nice little corner, right? We can clear all this out. I think they're done clearing things to where I can actually do roads. Oh, gosh. What, what was that? Who am I to make that horrible road? That's okay. Okay, so make that. We're going to come this way. We're going to go like this all the way to the mountain. And it's kind of hard to see now. But whatever, we don't need to worry about that. Okay. All right. How's food? Look at our stats. Um, we, still, we still need a ton of homes. We made four homes. We have 19 families and only nine homes. We need a lot. But how's our production of food? Okay, we're over... Three, four, five. We're about 2,000 ahead of what we need to be. And we've got a good amount of stone right now. I'm going to build even more stone homes. And we're going to build some out here so they're nice and close to where they work. And um, people can just live close and, and be happy. There's three more. We need a lot more, though. But I want to be conservative and careful about the way we're doing this. Now, the wonderful thing about the easy start is we can super expand our agriculture if we want to. And... Um, it's it's gonna work out quite well. Oh, we're actually maxed on this with eleven. We should we should start expanding the bison very quickly. The leather 
and the bison meat are going to be really good. Now, for here, I did... What size did I do? I did 15 by 15, which, you know what? I think I'll keep. It's fine. Um... Yeah, because it's 11. It's just over the amount where we need to split. So that's fine. And we'll do roads going up here. Right. And back down this way. Very good. And this time I'm going to do it on both sides. And then we're going to have to get some... Oh, I think I messed that road up a little bit. There we go. I think I'm going to need to put start putting in some farms after this one. So once we... Let's see. Let's put in the roads here and then there. Go all the way to the end. And then one, two, and then I want to put in some farmland as well. So we're down to 30 tools. I'm, I'm a little concerned about that because this is iron ore. Once I build an actual blacksmith, we'll use that ore to make the blacksmiths themselves. So those will get used in some capacity. So 10 by 15, one, two, we're starting it out right, ladies and gentlemen, three. <sighs> Ugly stockpiles. Now, let's go back. Wait, what? What? Food? Oh, give it a break. You need more than that. Come on now. It's just, can you house it? You can. We're doing good on herbs, too. Okay, one thing I was worried about, or one thing that I forgot to worry about, is the, um, how we're going to do lumber, right? Let's do a water wheel. It's 80 logs. It's 30 stone. Stone is going to start to become a concern soon. But we're doing we're doing okay. Like this is looking good for what it is. In fact, you know what? Let's just get two people on that guy. Plus, we're actually already bringing in some stone right here. Twenty seven last year, so we have a supply. I have a feeling. Oh, it hasn't started yet. A few of these patches, they're gonna start digging up here real soon, because they're they're gonna be mature and ready. So that's that's good. Now we want this going so we can get lumber. Look, look, we're already out of hides to freaking get the codes done. Is that my phone? Oh, silly phone. Don't do that. I'm recording. But we're not ready to do this. But I, I probably should start planning out. Well, maybe I won't. Maybe I'll just take all the resources here. But I'm going to plan out. You know, I want to do actual dense foresters here and here. And um, maybe we'll do another hardwood. We'll do furniture as a supply or something. Or maybe I'll just do even more just dense forester. And then we could do, like, other stuff. Furniture or just be not reliant on trading to do that let's look at the overview real quick we have 16 families only 12 homes so we're four behind which is actually better than what we normally are since we're doing so well on food i'll mark this for bison we'll get somebody to work it and we'll just go ahead and split this now we did already get a little bit of food out of this actually quite a bit of food and leather so splitting this is going to kind of slow that down but you know what we're okay we'll, we'll deal with that as it comes i like the double roads um, I'm not going to like them in between all my farms and stuff. But considering where this area is, it's okay. And as we get more people, we'll, we'll employ them in the bee shelters and all that stuff. So, the water wheel sawmill is going to need to use logs to make lumber for a bit. So we'll go ahead and leave that on for a little bit. And I believe I need more homes, but let's take a look. I've only got two people working here. Yep. And, okay, so that one's there. So once I get this up to four, though... I'm going to need more people. I might as well build some homes like on this edge so they can get a little closer. I don't want to do it here because I'm I'm already taking some space. But there's this little dead zone here that maybe we could utilize. And again, I think I'm going to stick with the stone homes for a bit. Because we haven't like built up our tech to anything that's you know notable, I suppose. So we'll do a couple homes there, which will get built very quickly. And let's see the dirt road out here. And I can't really do another farm there. I'm tempted. Oh, maybe I should. Maybe we should see what the orchard plant is. Trade apples and and apricots. Well then, huh? We could start getting some mead real quick. Well, we we could start getting some alcohol here with the bees too. We we've discussed that last time. I'm tempted to. Oh, it's done. Look, it's done. I'm tempted to uh, not go that route this time. I'm I'm not sure one person there no it, it trailed off and now that there's not anybody okay well that's fine nobody lives close anyway so uh, how are the homes the homes are gonna get finished so more people will pair off and have babies we'll stop the work there at the water wheel sawmill 
We'll just control that as much as we can. We're down to... We're down to seven tools. Frick, come on. I am, uh... Interested to see... Oh boy, when they want to harvest this. Um... I think it's a little silly of me to assume that we won't have any of this, this production at all. So, hold on. Let's go ahead and get our fuel refinery here. Let's do it over here. And then we'll also get our smelter right here. And that means we're probably going to need to get both of these choppers up and going. Did I pause that and not actually build it? Oh, that's funny. Why did I do that? That's okay. All right, what what do you have for us, Iron Shack? I'm leaving that up here. I really would like to start bringing in some iron for that. So the tiny chopper over here is almost done. The reason I want to get more on that is um, we're going to have to keep our fuel limit up. Actually, I probably don't need to make it higher that much. I just need to have more capacity to be able to keep up with the furnace fuel. So we're going to take firewood and turn it into furnace fuel. And then we're going to take ore and, f and furnace fuel and turn that into iron. Let's back off on the builders. And then we're going to go ahead and turn that off and turn on this workshop. And we're down to one tool. Oh, jeez. I have immediately, episode one, created a situation that does not need to be here. Tiny chopper, you, whatever, you do your thing. We're not, we're, we're not looking at you right now. We're out of tools, we're out of iron. <laughs> but we got a lot of coal. Oh, boy. How much ore do I have? No iron, 397 iron ore. Yo, you guys get a ton of ore, just like lying around stuff. Look at them, look, they're having a competition. Did you see that? They're, oh, gonna beat you, Cheryl. No way, Tony. You know, it's exactly what happened, by the way. I don't know if you guys heard that. Oh, we got one iron out of here. Two people need tools already. Good night. And we've got one iron here, eight iron here. Okay, you know what? Timing isn't terrible. It's not great, but it's not terrible. With four people working this iron shack, they're starting to actually harvest the stuff. Which makes me think, though, um, hold on. I don't have an actual iron stockpile anywhere close by. Let's do one there. Maybe here. Which makes me think I need the stone ones as well. Do four buys, yeah. Here we go. Okay. Okay. And then, oh, I don't even have a wood one over here. Like, just specifically, the wood stockpile. It's not going to help for that long. How are we doing on food? Tools are, meh, not that great. But how are we doing on food? Okay, we've, we've bumped up to needing a thousand more food. Overview says we need one more home, technically. So why don't we go ahead and just make that? We'll make it out this way, since we've got some jobs that are going to be out here. Another 40 stone, we can actually handle that. That's not too bad. Overall, things are going okay. We got a lot of iron getting moved around. I've only got one workshop here. So what I probably want to do is... You know, since it's in this area, and we've got mining and everything over here, um, maybe I should put a blacksmith shop right here. You know, we talked about before, I want to stay in the habit of trying to keep stuff around each other. So maybe uh, we, we expand out this way and get the blacksmith stuff rocking and rolling. How are we doing on stone check? Oh, I do have two people here. Okay, I thought I I thought I only had the one, which means I wasn't going to get very much. I am a little low on stone, so I'm going to... Oh, gosh. No, no, no. Let those be. Don't touch those. Let's come over here to the non-stone finding area where we don't, you know, grow it or anything. That's not weird. Look, like 69, 70. We have just a ridiculous amount of iron coming in now. It's so awesome. So, these guys, honestly, I could probably just turn them off. We, we probably do need furnace fuel for other stuff, but, um, you know what? I'm, I'm actually just going to turn them off. We've got other things we can do with them. We've got other jobs that they can fulfill. It's, it, we don't need them there. So, our fuel limit's good to go. Um, I do have the sawmill here. I would like to make at least a stacks burner somewhere around here, right? That's like right on the edge. Maybe I won't. Let me think about this for a second. We're going to take coal, and we're going to turn it into coke coal. Um, so this area would make a whole lot of sense. 
But I don't want to block any kind of mines or whatever. So you know what? First thing, why don't we see just... Let's pause and see where we can even place a mine into the mountainside. Okay, so this whole area is like free game. I can't do anything with that. Now I can do something there. Turn this around. Oh, I kind of messed myself up. Oh! Oh, night goes. Come on, man. Oh, I messed that up. Okay, okay. We're getting a little bit out of this, though. Okay, so now we're going to pause all of these. And see where I can make... Are there any other ones? I don't think I placed any more. Four, right? Okay, now I'm going to place... Um, words... Stacks burner. Over here. Yes. And I need a material stockpile over here. You guys love how I'm just like, screw this, we're jumping right into it. Four by five, that's gonna bother somebody. Ah, <sighs> the good old blacksmith. Let's get you down to iron tools for sure. And we're gonna need a second one here soon. Oh wow, we're actually just like out of tools. And we have a ton of iron, so... So getting this up and going is actually a good thing as well. Um, I've got a lot of people that became laborers. All right, let's get hide coats going too. Just to keep everybody clothed. And why don't we go ahead and build a couple more of these? Now, I, I need a lot of stone for this, so I can't just kind of go ham and drop a bunch of stuff down. So we'll just build another one there. All right, we're already starting to get stone in. There's 47 immediately. Fantastic. Hardwood is not actually being worked right now. Let's put two more people in the mix of the uh, foresters so we can start getting this cleared up and, and allowing the hardwood to start to grow. We do have our stacks burner here, which is going to take coal, okay, and turn it into coke coal, which we can use for fuel. Coke coal! And we only have one person worked that at this moment, so we'll let that do its thing. Now again, we could put some orchards in here. Orchards are kind of a luxury, in my opinion. So I don't want to do those right away. I actually would like to just do more beans for now. I have a feeling that we're, we're hitting our cap for the amount of food that we're producing. So it's not showing it here, but we're going to start growing even more with all these laborers. So we have 21 families, 15 homes. We're, we're going to need even more homes. Um, I'd like to build a little bit better home at some point, though. You know, salt box house. Cheaper than a stone house like both. It allows living space for up to five. Yeah. I just need any kind of cheaper homes. Um, let's do 100 for the fuel. Not the fuel, excuse me. For the tool limit. Man, I'm a little hoarse. I apologize. While we're here, let's just get the stone and iron and help clear all this up for now. Since I don't know what to do with all my laborers yet. We're going a little quick. Do need to put in more homes. I'm curious though, probably not bringing in enough logs yet to let this go full bore. And I would like it to just be hardwood, but we're not there yet either. Hide coats. We're at 11 again on this pasture. Because they're so small, we can reach that limit. And we're at seven here, and that's growing, so that's good. Okay, um, fuel limit's 500. Maybe what we should try, well, I've only, I've only got one person working this. Now that I think about it, getting two in each one of these will help. All right, cool. And then I will put one person here. You know, these bee shelters are nice, but they don't give me beeswax, do they? They don't. Let me think about that. Um, we need an actual apiary. I need candles, and I can't do candles with the type of honey that we're making right now. So, yeah. Let's get an apiary over here, and we'll start getting some beeswax going. 259. Holy cow. Iron Shack doing doing what you do. With two people here, we're bringing in 81 stone. So that's really good. We can put down more of those stone homes if we really want to. I would like to upgrade these, but not right now. That's not uh, a thing that we're going to mess with at the moment. But a lot of the really good homes, you know, we got to get the tech up a little bit more. These guys, though... Um, village townhouse. They take iron. But you know what? We're making iron. Right now we're doing okay. Maybe we'll do a little little uh, town area over here for all the agriculture stuff. And we'll branch out from all sides with it. Um, four occupants. Six occupants. Okay, that's the apiary. 
let's build what four four okay and we've got two people working here in this mine i'm gonna have the apiary up and going i've got a lot of people coming in as laborers so so that's good now how are we doing on storage what do we just get yelled at about the reserve of food is actually kind of low but we did just oh wow we've only produced in 4300 but we use 5400 but we did get this guy going, and that bean crop is going to look really good. Um, I don't know how the sunflowers are doing compared. Well, they seem to be just fine. They seem to be the same, the same kind of treatment, the same environment going on for those. And then this is going to give us beeswax. Oh, I just had to employ another person here for that bee shelter, but that's okay. I'm actually not really super concerned about it. What I will do, though, is maybe what we'll do is we'll turn off this tiny chopper. It's not the most efficient little thing in the world. And um, I'll up the limit here. Because I wanted to start using the coal to make coke fuel. Yeah, see, they're not making a whole lot because they're hitting the limit. But that's that's fine. That's here nor there. All right, let's, let's clear off the iron and the stone in the back area here. We've got... Homes getting produced over here. What we are forgetting, which is very vital, are um, wells. Yeah, let's put down a well there. And we're going to need one in this. Well, they're so close, but you know what? Let's just do it. Let's just put another one there. That's 80 stone we just spent on two areas. This is going to serve that group. This will serve everything in this, this area and, and stretched out a bit more over there. So I think we'll be okay. If we did four and four, I'd feel a little bit happier about that. What are you maxed on? Herbs, really? Oh, gosh. No, put that at like a thousand. Whatever we can get, let's get. Okay, so this is doing good. This agriculture stuff is looking good. Um, I'm probably going to need another barn around here somewhere. In fact, we could probably just put it up here by the apiary without it affecting things too much. Or should I just do... Oh, I can fit it right here. 48 logs, 16 stone. Let's build it. This has been one of the one of the smoothest kind of starts I've had in a long time. So I'm kind of excited about that. Medieval clinic, hospital. All right, we're putting a hospital in. You know what, I'm getting rid of the, the apiary here. And we're gonna put the hospital in right here. It's gonna take 60 lumber. But you know what, it's needed, we'll do it. We'll, we'll kick this guy off here here in a minute if we need to oh this wasn't fully harvested yet they probably work kind of farther away from where they live no they don't it's the storage dang it all right that's fine we lost a little bit uh food is actually not looking that fantastic you know it's not looking that good <laughs> oh geez um but the apiary is up now we're starting to make some honey we've got the the other uh bee shelter over here that's making a lot of honey so that's good so we've got a few more food sources, and we did kick this guy off, which next year we'll get a good yield from that. So why don't we actually just do beans again here, market to get picked up, swap out a builder for a laborer, call, call it good, right, we'll, we'll be fine. We're doing okay on coats, I think the bison are actually helping out, we're down to five. We were at seven, what happened? Well, we'll let them keep doing their thing. I've got the additional blacksmith here ready to go. I'll mark it not to be worked. We're currently at 90 tools, um, which is just fantastic. 36 this year alone. How are you doing? 63. But you can't make better tools later, so let's not sit here and beat ourselves up for, for getting that other one going. Plus, the distance here is probably playing into that quite a bit. And this guy is just like, boom, bam, right close to everything. Boom, bam, right in the kitha. Okay, so how are you doing? You've got three people here, bringing in 200 something a year. Hunter, 480 on the venison, 480 this year, and some duck meat. So a good year. Gatherer, as usual, just bringing in a ridiculous amount of stuff. And then the, the herbalist is bringing in stuff too, so that's nice. How are you doing? Ah, oh, you're starting to clear things out. Probably bringing in a lot of logs, stone, and iron ore. Yep, we kind of anticipated that. This is a bit of a slow process. I guess if I just do more people at it, it wouldn't be, but it kind of is a slow process. Okay, so we're going to start getting in more crops this year. And this is a little bit more food, and this is a little bit more food. The hospital's almost done. This is a precautionary measure. Let's take a look at stats real quick. Currently, we're at 66 citizens in year 7. 
We have 26 families and 19 homes. We need more homes for sure. We just finished four. And um, food production is pretty even. In fact, it's exactly, almost exactly even. We use 6,300. We produce 6,370. We'll see. Tools are looking great. Fuel is looking great. Iron is looking great. Stone is looking great. Um, logs are the situation I'm slightly concerned with. We don't have a lot of logs right now. We'll get, a, we'll get a little bit more right there. So this situation is very temporary. I'm going to build in the dense foresters as well. What, why are there trees here? Come on. Anyway, we need more homes for sure. But we need to make sure the food production is good. Uh, we do have our storage barn here. These guys are already at 70 something percent, 80 percent. So we're going to start having to make candles here very soon. Anyway, thanks everybody for joining. This is kind of my reboot. Um, hopefully nobody's too upset about the other map, but it's dead. So I can't do anything about it anyway. <laughs> so, you know, take your ticket and you can complain about it, I guess. I don't know what to tell you, but I'm kind of mad about it myself. Anyway, thanks everybody for being here. I really appreciate it. Let me know what you think in the comments. If there's any additional challenges you think I should do, I'm going to do this one episode and upload this, render it, upload it, get it going so I can get some feedback from you guys, and we'll go from there. So thanks, everybody, and I'll see you all next time. Later.